Hello, this reading is for the Libra Collective, Libras, for Tuesday, February 20th, 2024. Libras, let us see what is coming into your energy. What energetic messages can I share? News or confirmations? of what's going on for Libras. Nine of Cups, Death, and the Eight of Wands. Interesting Libras. We will clarify. Nine of Cups has Seven of Cups, Nine of Pentacles, the Moon. I'll clarify that a little bit. The Death card has... Shuffle one more time. Pentacles, Two of Swords, and the Hierophant. And the Eight of Wands. We won't take that. <laughs> we'll shuffle one more time. Let's see. Eight of Wands is... Queen of Pentacles, Six of Wands, and Strength. So I guess we'll start with this message first, and then we'll walk, work our way back. Eight of Wands clarified by Queen of Pentacles, Six of Wands, Strength. Well, Libras, first of all, know that I believe with these energies that are here, clarifying the Eight of Wands, that whatever you put your mind to that you want to accomplish, you can. So, in that respect, this is a confirmation that whatever you put your mind and your energy and your focus to, you will have no problem achieving it. This is just in general. However, being clarified by the Eight of Wands, something is coming in for you. Something you've worked for. I feel Libra's a work, something related to work, good news relating to work, a work achievement is coming in. And I feel that it will solidify even more this vibration of, regardless of female or female, you know that. Um, will solidify the vibration of you being very um, financially stable. This will continue to add to your verdant throne, your throne of green, whatever that may be to you. Message number two death. This is actually interesting. So interesting. I'm wondering whether I should draw a few more cards on this. Because Libra's so change is obviously coming. And I do feel that with the here font here and the Ten of Pentacles as a clar of you know, together with the Two of Wands. We'll, we'll just, excuse me, Two of Swords. We'll ignore the Two of Swords for right now. But I feel like with these two energies here under death, I mean, this definitely speaks to a marriage or some sort of, um, some sort of uh, change. I feel like this, this either could speak to a marriage or some sort of like a romantic, emotional connection that you have with someone undergoing some... Um, 
extra um, stages of commitment, whatever that may be to you. Um, but likewise, this could also be you moving to another place. Because let's say like you're moving for a job or you're moving for school. You know, there, there could be also that, that element as well of you actually moving your household for a gain in some sort of institution, whether that's work or school, take it as it resonates. However, I feel like we should clarify a little bit because why do we have this two of swords energy here? There's a hesitation. But that change is coming anyway, so that's why it doesn't quite make sense. This change, Libras, is coming. Maybe you are feeling a little, maybe your feet are dragging a little bit about either making the move or making the change or actually going to the next stage of, of commitment. I mean, it's going to happen anyway, but it just feels like there's like a little, you know, you're not a hundred percent with this. These energies are so massive too. Just let me say these energies are so massive that this is almost like a 20% hesitation or 15% hesitation. I mean, it's small. But that hesitation is there. We could clarify just a little bit more to see what are we talking about. So, Ten of Pentacles has Six of Cups. Here, Fawn has Knight of Cups. So, it's definitely the Two of Swords. Maybe it's moving too fast for you, Libra. That's the hesitation. I feel like whoever you're going to go and go to this next stage of, co of commitment with, this is someone who you've already been with. This is someone who you know quite well. And I feel as well with the Knight of Cups energy here, this definitely speaks to marriage or some form like that, maybe moving in, I don't know. But the hesitation here, the acknowledgement of this Two of Swords energy being clarified by the Knight of Wands. I think Libra's, although you're going to go through with it, no doubt about that, this is here. It's just the universe saying that you know, it acknowledges your hesitation because you think it's moving a little too fast for you. So maybe too, the fact that swords are, you know, essentially communication and thought, right? Maybe whoever you're dealing with, just let them know, like, you know, how you feel. There's nothing wrong with saying that you feel like things are moving too fast. It's still the direction you're going to go in. Talk it out. Message number three. Nine of cups clarified by seven of cups. I'm going to clarify the seven of cups. I'm going to clarify this moon too because we're dealing with the Libra collective. I like moons. I do. I think moons can be good. But note that can be good. Let's find out what kind of moon you have, Libras. Is it a good moon? It is a great moon. You see, I told you moons are great. Let's see the Seven of Cups. This wants to fall out. Ah, I don't like the Seven of Cups being clarified by the King of Cups. But then again, this is your read, Libras. Maybe like, you know, this is what makes you feel good. How, who am I to judge? As long as we're on board that, like, you know, moons are good, I'm, you know, we're cool. Well, they could be good. I'll put it that way. They're not, like, overall good. Um, we'll do a nine of pentacles just to see. Two of cups. Okay, so Libras. <laughs> the message number three I have for you is, um, I think this is you. I think you have options. I think you enjoy those options a lot, Libra. 
As I said, this is your read, so I'm not judging. You're enjoying yourself, so I guess that's, that's great. Okay. But no, and if you're not enjoying yourself, Libra, as the message energetically is, you can go out there and enjoy yourself with options, with romantic options. <laughs> I don't mean to laugh so much, but it's just funny because this is the message that's here. So yes, if you are feeling like no one loves you or no one cares, know that you can go out there and literally get like anybody you want. And if you are already doing that, then you know, yeah, you're having fun. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Nine of Pentacles clarified by the Two of Cups. This is the same energy that you are just, you know, a very attractive individual. You have many people after you. You can get many people as well. You are an attractive energy yourself, so therefore you attract all the options. Meeting people is no issue for you. And then, like, um, let's say your appreciation for the options that are here with the moon and the seven of cups, you are able to appreciate all the different nuances of the options that you come across with the ace of cups. Anyway, Libras, I see lots of happiness for you in this, <laughs> in this poll. <laughs> Have fun. All right, if this message resonates, please um, like. <laughs> <laughs> it's just so funny. Um, please like or leave a comment. This is literally the funniest pull I've done. Um, yes, like or leave a comment. And <laughs> if you'd like to see more messages from me, uh, subscribe. I'll be putting out regular videos <laughs> for your collective. Um, for those of you who have already subscribed, thank you. <laughs> Because where else would I be able to go and get energetic messages like this? It's wonderful. Um, yeah, thank you. Have a great Tuesday. And uh, I'll be back with another video. Bye-bye. <laughs>